And I think this day revealed some things to us. Uh, obviously, uh, former President Trump won the primary there in New Hampshire, and it looks like he will be uh, the nominee for the Republican Party. And of course, Biden and, and Harris are, are um, the nominees for the Democratic Party. We've been praying that God would reveal very clearly those uh, that he would want to ordain in positions of leadership. I couldn't help but listen last night as I listened to the reports coming in last night of the rallies going on uh, where on the Republican side and what Trump and some of his uh, surrogates were saying concerning the protection of our borders, the standing for law and order and safety in our streets and a good economy and uh, taking care of inflation, those kind of things. And then it went over to the rally that Biden and Harris uh, were holding and their rally was themed about more abortions. Abortions, that was their rally. Kill more babies, kill more babies. Their heart and their mouth is revealing evil. And uh, at least that's my opinion. It couldn't be clear, more clearly demonstrated in one evening what God's will is. And we need to pray that God will give us leaders that have his heart. We've got to start praying for this election more and more. And we will. Uh, injustice is being uncovered also. And we're seeing that in Atlanta with the prosecutors there and in other places. And uh, more is coming. The covers are being pulled off. The dominoes are starting to fall. Remember a couple years ago, the Lord talked to me about uh, and gave me a vision on the dominoes falling. That's starting to happen. And I, I feel in the spirit realm that uh, there's a big one about to, to fall. And I'm just saying, Lord, it's in your hands. But we are those that are watchmen and we're going to be praying. And we're praying for supernatural interventions as well. And uh, uh, supernatural surprises. It's all a part of this, this season, this year, 2024. The precedence that we see at Christ's birth, those miracle events are going to happen in this year. So uh, we will pray tonight and ask Holy Spirit's help in this, this prayer time. We'll pray our faith. You pray and agree with me. And if, as always, if you don't know what to pray, just allow Holy Spirit to pray through you. Lord, we thank you for what you are doing. We thank you for the strategies that you are, are giving to us. We thank you for the responsibilities that you have handed to us, but also the demonstration and power of the Holy Spirit that is available to help us succeed. And we commit this strategy of the waterways and the, the dams and the infrastructure to you. I pray that you will speak to the intercessors Give them understanding beyond the natural realm of where they should go, and what they should decree, and how to pray against any attacks of the adversary. The body of Christ is coming together under you, Holy Spirit, in all 50 states and even other parts of the world. And we are praying that any diabolical schemes would be uncovered and thwarted supernaturally in Jesus' name. We pray, God, that you give wisdom to police, FBI, CIA, uh, our government, that, that they would be able to uh, see what's happening and stop it from happening. We're asking for supernatural intervention. You said it was coming. And Lord, we pray that with the supernatural intervention, as we pray and we decree our faith 
the supernatural intervention that you will provide, I pray it be so publicly done that our nation will know that you, our great God, has intervened. And we will thank you for it, Lord. We declare success over all prayer groups, efforts that they make, the churches that are responding, or individuals. May they be blessed, protected, and succeed on their mission. We continue to pray for justice in this nation. We thank you, Lord, that you are exposing it. Every day we see more and more. And Lord, as I said, something in my heart is rising. There's a, there's a domino about to be pushed over. And when that happens, it just accelerates so quickly. And I pray, God, that, that you, your power, your kingdom, and the ministry of angels would go ahead and push those dominoes over. It's time for a rollout of the justice that you bring, the justice that you have promised is coming, that you, Lord, will rise in greater glory. Do it this year. Rise and do it this uh, at the summit, Lord, and, and, and do it, Lord, in our, our local ecclesias, our regional hubs, uh, your church. Do it in such a way, Lord, that your manifest presence calls us justice to, to come against those that are trying to oppress, trying to destroy. We pray in Jesus' name that you, great King of Kings, will rise in your glory. We will worship you. We will give you praise. We will follow you. We pray for Christians, the heirs of, of God, the joint heirs with Christ. Lord, we pray that this would be the time when they rise up and willingly accept assignments that you give. And beyond that, join together in a unified effort, a unified cause for your purpose in America and the world, for you and your harvest to be reaped in Jesus' name, for you to come and, and with your angels help us reach that harvest that you have promised. Let this be so in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that even, that even this week, the promises you've given to us concerning college campuses and revival moving there and revival moving in entire regions, we pray that. I pray it here, Lord. Let revival roll through this region. Let it roll through Ohio and all eight states around us and all across the nation. Activate the apostolic hubs in great revival, Lord. We pray that signs, wonders, and miracles that you have ordained to confirm this will, will accelerate and do so visibly, Lord. May we begin to hear of supernatural events that are occurring. You said this is the year for the supernatural to go to another level as your glory goes to another level. And so we pray for supernatural events to be clearly seen in the United States of America, to be clearly seen in the nations where the intercessors are calling out to you as we are here. Let around the world a global effort now rise, confirmed by signs, wonders, and miracles. We believe, Lord, that Joel's revival is activating Lord, we pray for the summit. We pray, God, that, that you will prepare this, this house, this region to host your presence. We ask, Lord, that your angel armies will be activated to help us take this to another level. And that Holy Spirit, you, would preside over this night. Pray for Dutch, Lord, that wisdom and enlightenment would come. Even give him dreams, understanding that way. Pray for Prophet Hank. Lord, we come to hear from you. I pray that you will download information and revelation to me concerning this time. Anoint our voice 
to be a clarion call to this nation and world and anoint hundreds of thousands of people's ears to hear what you are saying and Holy Spirit synergize it all together in in what you want to do in our world. We declare there is no principality, no power, no dominions of darkness that can hinder in any way, shape or form this prophetic summit. We declare, let the will of the Lord be done in Jesus' name. Amen. And now for our decrees, our, our fasting and prayer decrees that Carol has put together for us. They are awesome. And so we're going to go back to last Thursday through uh, tonight. Today we decree a fire will sweep over the coming generation, calling them into their purpose and destiny, which will help facilitate the billion soul harvest that has been prophesied and declared. Let relationships between spiritual fathers and mothers with spiritual sons and daughters, let it flourish. We declare a mobilization of young warriors who are captivated by the Lord's presence and who desire to serve the will of the Father. Lord, we pray that their heart would be stirred towards you. Enable us to function in a Holy Spirit plan purpose for the decades to come. Friday. Father, today we declare increase over your ecclesias, your heirs, your remnant in every regard. We release your anointing along with activated angel armies to pour out abundance wherever and for whatever the need might be. Let it flow and produce blessing, causing us to prosper in every place our foot shall go. According to Joshua chapter 1, verse 3 and verse 7, we bind every hindering spirit of distraction, nuisance, negativity, word curses, and confinement, and we say, no more delay. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Increase, increase, increase. We decree this for the advancement of your kingdom. Saturday, we declare that anything that would try to stifle purpose or destiny, God-given hopes and dreams must go. In the name of Jesus, it must go. We say to depression, oppression, heaviness of any kind, disease, financial lack of or poverty, despair, anxiety, go. You have no authority here. Proverbs 18, verse 21 decrees that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And so right here and right now, we choose to declare right words. There is no name above his name. And so we lift up the name of our king who rules and reigns and declare our victory over all those things. Sunday, we, we decree. We repent today for the murder of millions of babies on our watch. We declare an awakening for the sanctity of life and for an empowered movement to rise up and defeat this curse on our land. We declare prayer warriors, intercessors, finances, adoptive and foster families and everything else needed to walk this out in victory. We decree will happen. We decree an overturning in education and government that has resulted in false beliefs and a world mindset that does not value life. We fall on our knees, Lord, for the babies. And we decree your kingdom come and your will be done. 
Monday. We declare we are in the days of reset and in the midst of a mighty work of God. We decree his purpose will be done and hell can't stop it. As we move into this upcoming new year, we declare we are being strengthened, led by the Holy Spirit, equipped and activated and stand ready for all of his instructions. We will walk in obedience to his word. We declare the prophetic words and assignments we have already received are now activating to their fullness. We say we will walk with you in full faith and confidence and declare we believe you will do exactly what you said because you are God. You are God and a God that cannot lie. Tuesday, we decree that every hidden and evil plot against our nation will be exposed and brought down in the name of Jesus. We declare your light will shine on the darkness and everything will be revealed. Hell's strongholds will be shaken down, scattered and shattered. Demons will tremble. God's heirs will not tremble. We declare we will rise in your might and your strength and your power and we will and it will be seen among us that your power is evident and real. We will display a hope and a confidence to the world that demonstrates who you are and draws people to seek your faith. We decree, let the weight of your glory cover us. And then today, today we decree, we shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, according to Psalms 27, 13. As we wait on him, he will, uh, him, as we wait on him, we will have courage and he is strengthening our heart. When it looks like and feels like we are surrounded by the enemy, we know that we are surrounded by him and a host of angel armies. In the secret place, he will hide us. He will set us upon a rock and we will sing praises to our Lord and King. This is how we fight our battles. We trust you. Amen. Amen. What great decrees. Remember to go online in the morning and get the next one as we go uh, through this Sunday and let's finish this fast well. Amen. Thank you for praying and decreeing with me tonight. Keep it up. Go out on an assignment somewhere. Uh, and pray over the infrastructure. And we'll talk to you more Sunday morning. Bless you.